Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in Farming Valley, picking up where we left off. So last episode, we summoned the Harvest Goddess, and now we need to bring her back because we need to give her some wood so she can give us a friend. So let's go ahead and throw in our plant. Let's go pick up this one that she dropped. Hello, lady. Now it's said to keep these in our hand and go ahead and click on her. Perfect. That is just what we need. Thanks a bunch. Really? Thanks a bunch? Um, I've got the perfect thing for you right here. This is a structure blueprint. You use them to select the area you want a building to be built. You'll see a ghost image of the building. Then you have it. So uh, when you have it selected, once you found the spot, simply right click. If Yulav hasn't moved in yet, he'll appear and get started working on the building right away. You'll just have to wait a little while for him to be done. Take note, you can queue up blueprints, but only one can be built at a time. Oh, and don't worry, if he dies from some tragic accident, he should respawn when the day passes over and get back to work immediately. I think that's all I have to say, so I'll leave. Um, you do get a carpenter house built. Um, oh, and one more thing before I forget. Once he's done building, Jade should move in. She normally hangs out upstairs. I suggest that you go and take her a flower as she has seeds. She'll be happy to trade for them. Nice. Okay, cool. So it was two dozen wood. All right, so now we got ourselves... A blueprint carpenter okay so as you can see we can kind of see the building and where we want to place it but I think we're gonna to have to do a little bit of work here not much I just want to take back this land a little bit and just give him a good kind of starter place now this is very different from mine colonies um, it is not the same thing even ancient warfare and a lot of the other ones Basically, you don't have to bring him the supplies. You just tell him to build it, and he gets to building. Um, I don't remember how fast he is, um, but if I remember correctly, it's not too bad. We'll have other stuff we have to worry about. Um, we're going to get this started, and then I think we're going to start trying to figure out exactly where we want to have our home. And our home, we're actually going to build. So... But I want to clear off a little bit of land. I don't necessarily want to flatten out this whole place. Because, um, you know, I wanted to have a little bit of contour. I think in between episodes, I'm definitely going to be clearing the land of... Oh, damn it. Of all of the, uh, the, the grass and stuff, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to kind of be a, a building slash, you know, decorating slash other stuff kind of series so I think it'll be good I think it'll be good it's 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 a little bit outside the old normal comfort zone so all right let's finish taking out this little bit of dirt then let's clear out these plants because I think the plants mess up where the build is going to be all right just about done and then we'll clear out some plants we should be good to go okay all right, so let's move these out of the way. Let's go ahead and drink ourselves some more nasty water. We will be able to get uh, better water soon. All right, oh, that's quicksand. Oh, that is quicksand. Well, we're going to have to get rid of that soon. Very, very soon. All right, let me go, let me go get some water real quick. Then we're going to clear out this land of all the bushes and, and shrubberies and whatnots. And then uh, we're going to get to work. Stop putting that in All right, let's keep uh, keep drinking. Oh yeah, I got a parasite. I can feel it. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, it is burrowing through me as we speak. Eh, that's fine. It gives me someone to talk to. You know. How you doing, little little Gregory? That's what I'm naming my parasite. Little tape. Who's a little tape? Who's a little tape? Where you are? I'm gonna get you some seeds. I'm gonna build you a little house. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a jaunty little cat. You're adorbs. Are you eating all my food? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And you're going to get big, and then the doctor's going to have to take you out. It's going to be fun. All right. Um, just keep clearing here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
I really don't have a plan for where all the buildings are gonna go. I'm just gonna kind of play that by ear. All right, I don't remember how big this is. I don't know how much space I'm gonna out here. Just, uh, just a little bit more. Get rid of these little bits because it makes the how the building place kind of weird. All right, that should be enough, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our blueprint. And um, I really can't see. Okay, so. I guess we'll go like here okay there we go all right so let's uh so we got ourselves that oh okay uh i can always use the new materials to help me build okay oh damn it did i do it wrong i think i did it wrong okay let's try this again all right sneak right click to confirm okay there we go all right, so as you can see, he is uh, building the building, and he's pretty quick. Like I said, the, the best part is I don't have to bring in material, so it is it is very, very different from uh, mine colonies. And this will be his home and place of business, and he will be the one builder we have. All right, so we'll let him do his thing. And I want to have my house kind of close, because I, I want to be included in the village. Um, you know, and I, I want to, I want to take, I'm not great at building, um, but I kind of want to try and build something. This is something that you guys normally don't see me do, especially in solo stuff. Um, I kind of want to, you know, build in the same kind of vein as them. Which means we may have to go hunting for some different woods. This stuff up and clear out our inventory here in a second. Yeah, I think this will be a good place for our house. We'll, we'll, we'll be his neighbor. It'll be nice. I don't want to put it too far away. All right, that's what I want to do. All right, so let's just throw some of these unnecessary items in the chest here. And do I have a thing? No, I don't have inventory tweaks. Awesome. Or do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so as you can see, he is just chugging along. Now we are on day three of spring. Now, um, the seasons matter because depending on the the time of year is what plants will grow. So things that grow in spring, the minute it becomes summer, they die. Um, winter is a little bit trickier, of course. So let's go ahead and sleep just so that we don't have any uh, mini scary baddies coming in and uh, ruining our day. And uh, he'll just keep doing his thing. So let's go see what we got here. We have um, dark oak, spruce, a uh, little bit of jungle. Okay. So literally almost every tree besides what we actually have in our area. So let's see if we can do a little exploration here for a bit. Let him do his thing. And... Uh, See if we can find any other trees. So we got plenty of acacia. Oh, there's a building. I think I saw that the other episode. Let's go see if there's anything fun over there. Um, we have oak, but we need to find ourselves some... Oh, it doesn't have to look exactly like his place, but I want to kind of stay in that same theme, you know? Gotta wish this bottle would stop switching hands. Stop juggling, Modi. Juggling water. I know, little Greg, you're, you're, you're thirsty. It's good. He doesn't like to be called Greg. He likes to be formal. His name is Gregory. All right. Uh, what's up here? Is this going to be a bad time for me, or is this just kind of a building? I think this is kind of a building. Maybe we'll integrate this into our town, too. This is kind of neat. Um, is this bad? Okay. This isn't a dungeon. I don't even know if that mod's in here. Let's... Oh, okay, that's... Weird. Oh, almost fell off the building. All right, let's see if we can find anything uh, good and fun and yummy up here. Oh, this side is this side is rough. This side is rough. Well, if we need any iron bars, there is some spruce wood, but I want to get saplings so that we can actually just grow more of it. Um, so let's kind of keep heading out. I do have keep inventory on, so if things go sideways, we're good. Uh, let's see. 
What do we got? We got horses. We get ourselves a, 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 a mighty steed. All right, we got birch. So now we've officially found all the trees that we don't need. Good, good. Okay, thank goodness. All right, uh, we're still pretty early in the morning on Wednesday, the 4th of spring. Uh, it doesn't go by months. I think it's. I think spring is 30 days and summer is 30 days and all of that. So it's basically a 120-day Minecraft year. Because apparently what planet we're on is closer to the sun, so it takes less time. Um... Yeah, I'm really not finding much. I may have to go hunting for different trees in betwixt episodes. Uh, we got we got an old dilapidated bridge. Dilapidated? Yeah, dilapidated. Uh, bridge over here. Is that a... Oh, it's two horses. I thought it was a camel. I got so excited for a second. I was like, Arabian night like Arabian days. Uh, I am needing to eat some food. And, yeah, looks like we're kind of at the end of the world. So we could... I may just take some time and dismantle this. And I think that would give us the, uh... <clears throat> the sp at least spruce that we need. Oh, there's a little house. How did I miss that? Uh, that will give us the spruce that we need to at least kind of get a building going. We can make our house out of oak. It's not the end of the world. Um, but I know that the, the builds, though, unlike other mods like this, they're, I don't get to choose what the buildings look like. They're kind of just prefabricated, so. Um, let's see, what do we got in here? All right, we got a chest with some cobwebs. Got a furnace. Got a bed. Eh, I'm good. All right, let's head back. Let's see how Ulif is going. And let's actually take a second. Let's look at our book. Get the logs needed. Okay. Uh, build a carpenter. Um, all right, so we need to wait until uh, he is done. Um, and then we can... Uh, br Did I ruin my little water area? Did I put that right on top of where our goddess spawning area is? Well, that sucks. Um, well, I'm, far from, well, I'm not that far. Anyways, yeah, so we... Uh, See if he's done, and then we can bring her in and move on. And as time progresses, we basically purchase the other building. So we're going to need to... Actually, you know what? We may not put our house there. Now that I'm thinking about it, we kind of need space. We need pretty... Where the hell is my area? Um, we Now that I think about it, we really need space for the size of the farms we're going to have. They're going to be pretty big. Because, uh, like I said, that is the core of how you do things. So, like, to give you an example, let's say we want to get into immersive engineering that's in the pack. Um, we can't make uh, a lot of the machine parts. We can't make, like, light engineering blocks and heavy engineering blocks or any of that. We have to buy that stuff from one of the shops, which, of course, means we need gold. And to get gold, we make a farm. Where in the God's name do I live? We'll get there. We're getting there. We're fine. Um, yeah, so it's the harvesting of crops. Now, it's not just crops. We can do uh, animals. Uh, unfortunately, not vanilla animals. We can get a cow, which will give us milk. Okay, it looks like he might be done. Night, what are, why are there magma cubes out here? What the hell is going on? All right. So uh, I've got the blue, best blueprints around the shop. Let's see kind of what he has. So we have an animal ranch. We have a poultry farm. We have a general store. Uh, shipment box, that's going to be important. And then we can also buy wood. We can buy stone. We can buy a bed. And then we can condense our gold. Uh, we can also get a deco bench, which would be kind of cool, and get the crafting clay for it. And you can see we've got, you know, some lanterns from the town, clipboards, some aesthetic stuff here. Uh, death spell, we're definitely have to get that. And you can kind of see that we need to, we do need to gather some wood, some stone, and uh, gold to be able to get this stuff. So the general store, for example, is 192 wood, 64 stone, and then 3,000 gold. But I think a shipment box is going to be one of our first purchases that we're going to have to make. So, all right, so let's pop into here. We built a carpenter. Spawn the harvest. 
goddess again to continue. We gotta remember to pick up our flower. All right, so let's go ahead and toss that in and bring this lady back. All right, uh, sweetie, you're supposed to be going to see Jade, not me. If you haven't yet, get a carpenter house built and visit the upstairs with a flower. Um, if you're in trouble, get lost. Okay, all right, fine. It, the book told me to talk to you. Yell at me about talking to Jade. Jade, when I damn well please. All right, let's go talk to Jade. I damn well please now. All right, I'm going to, oh, is that her? Hey, Jade, Jade, Jade. You're supposed to be upstairs. Whoop, okay. All right. Hey, looks like I ha you have a flower for me. Uh, the goddess told you told me all about you. I can't wait to see the town grow. I think the goddess wants to thank you for helping us. Oh, she just yelled at me. Uh, so you should go see her. But afterwards, please come back and visit me with something I'd love to show you. Okay. All right. So she got a flower. The goddess is still spawned. Okay. I went and talked to the lady. Now talk to me. Well done, dear. This town will be built in no time, with you at the helm. Getting things done will probably cost you some money, though. So I'm happy to give you a starting gift of a thousand gold. Nice. Um, I hope you spend it wisely. Anyways, you should be off to see Jade again now. Thanks for the help. We got a thousand dollars. And we are done with the first set of pages. Uh, speak with Jade and ask her how to farm crops. Okay, let's do this. We're, we're like the like the big city guy who was, I'm going to be a farmer. Well, that's us. Hey, um, I promised I have something to tell you about. Crop farming. Has anyone ever taught you before? Uh, how do you farm crops? I'm dumb. Well, then let me teach you. The very basics of crop farming is that you need to till some ground once done, simply plant some seeds in that in this spot. Keep in mind the seeds plant in a three by three area. You'll need to make sure that those seeds are watered every day or you will not grow or they will not grow, as well as making sure you have the correct crops for the season. In order to use your hoe, you simply have to right click it to till dirt in a farmland uh, before you can use the watering can however you will need to fill it up with water take these and come back with me when you have grown yourself nine hardy turnips oh and one final tip if you want um, to speed up crop growth you can sleep crops will grow every day so this is the quickest way to get them to grow all right so we, she gave us a hoe, so we can actually use that one. And she gave us some hardy turnip seeds. Nice. All right, so we'll make a little little pseudo farm up here. I thought I was supposed to do like a whole section or something. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, I really need to figure out how to do water better because this is starting to get kind of annoying. Because I get thirst and that makes my water go down faster. But I need to not go. What did the what did, what did the hope just say? Let's see. Uh, normal charge level. Okay. Oh, I said it was gonna be a three by three. Dirty liar. Trust that lady. Shifty. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a bucket of water. I believe this runs on the normal dynamics. I think. So we'll go ahead and just put this. We're just going to make our first kind of farm right here. Oh, yeah, it hoes single, but then it plants three by three. That's right. All right. Okay, and then we're going to want... We're going to do like a little, little plus pattern here. All right, that's good. Okay, so now we get our turnips. And we're going to just go ahead and plant them right in the middle. Boom. There is a three by three of all of those. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and look here. Uh, speak with Jade and ask for farm crops. Get the turnip seeds from Jade and grow the seeds. Okay. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Give the turnips back to her. So, so at this point, you can kind of see, you know, we still got plenty of daylight. But unfortunately, we don't have much to do. So we're going to go ahead and sleep. 
and let's see how one day of turnip growing goes. These little rocks pop up every once in a while, and they're just decorative. Um, all right, so now we've they're not ready to harvest, so this is where we're going to kind of burn through some days. And have a drink of our stuff. All right, still not ready to go. And this is the only thing they want us to do. So let's, hey, we're not wasting food and water for sleeping all day. Look at me, I'm a, like a teenager in the summer. All right, now why did this, oh, I guess because it doesn't have crops on it. All right, still not grown. So we're, we're kind of seeing how, how many days it takes here to be able to grow this stuff. So we're just, we're getting super rested. All right, are these ready? Nope, they've changed. Oh, I got to water them every day. How do I water them with my watering can? I am so dumb. All right, I'm going to do this. Let's see. I believe I can get an unlimited water supply going up here. And I think between drinking water... Oh, my God, I can't believe I forgot to do that. I just read that in the book. You guys are probably freaking out. Uh, you said you had to water them over here. They weren't going to grow. Yeah, I know. I'm stupid. Shut up. Um, let's see if I believe... The unlimited water supply still works. I don't think that's being negated. I really hope not. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's get our watering can she gave us. Let's fill that up. All right, so if anybody's played um, uh, Starting Valley, you're going to kind of see the similarities start to kick in. All right, so now if I go to sleep after we slept for three days and I was dumb, uh, now, when we wake up, they should be, let's see, they're not watered anymore. Alright. I hope they're not dead. Oh, dead bushes. I already killed them. I already killed them. <sighs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Hey again, looks like you don't have nine hardy turnips yet. If you are stuck and lost your hoe, you can come back to me with a stone hoe and I'll happily trade. If you need another watering can, you can spare some from buckets. Um, oh, and if you want one bag of hardy turnips, just bring me five flowers. Damn it. Okay, well, we're at the end of this episode. I can't believe I completely spaced on watering these. These are dead. How do I get rid of them? Uh, do I need my hoe? I probably need my hoe. These dead bushes are the strongest ever. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go gather flowers. I I have five. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Um, I think I have to have them in my hand. Uh, all right. There we go, and that gave me one bag of them. So, all right. So in between episodes, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. See if I can get rid of these. And I think I will wait until we the next episode to actually plant these other turnips so that because I want to have you guys see the the process of everything. So all right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did make sure you hit that thumbs up, questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Uh if you haven't checked it out already, go check out um the my uh mine and Heather's vlogging channel, Pinky and the Beard. That's uh uh, pretty fun thing we're doing and we think you guys might enjoy that so go check that out uh, let's do this real quick and yeah see I need uh, I might be able to do that soon I might start looking for some of that stuff anyways um, yeah so go uh, go check that out and if you guys want to help support what I do while giving you a fun safe place to hang out and meet some friends and all that fun stuff you can do that by uh, becoming a Patreon go check out the Patreon link get access to are five different servers three of those be minecraft servers um and access to our patreon that way uh you guys can come chit chat with myself and the rest of the squad plus all the super awesome patrons and have a good fun place to play some games and make some new friends and if you guys uh want to get your own server just like the ones we use for every single one of our multiplayer stuff streams and Patreon servers and, and series and everything you can do that by heading on over to host havoc Make sure you use the link down below that way. They know that you're coming from one of our videos 
And until the next episode, where I will try not to fail miserably at farming, as I did today. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!